There you go. So using the sampler and the 909, we can make a bass line out of it in about 10 seconds, just using these quick techniques. So what we need to create this is quite simple. What we'll do in FL, if you go into the packs, into drums, into kicks, fourth one down, you've got 909 kick. Right click on that, we're going to open in a new channel and that gives us a new sampler channel here in FL. Uh, what we can do is just have a new pattern real quick. Uh, if we just have it so it hits on all fours. Cool, it's just that 909 going off, isn't it? So in here under the little spanner icon, we've got an in and out. We're going to give it a little bit of a lead in and a little bit of a lead out. If we go into pre-computed effects by clicking on the little valve icon here, we're going to boost it to around half. And apply a neat little bit of EQ. That's sort of all we need to do. If we now grab this and go into piano roll, we're going to adjust our notes out slightly. Okay, now to really bring the effect in, we're going to do boost much further around so it really crushes the waveform. And we've still got that click happening, which makes it quite uh, kick like. We're just going to take that out using this. So we've got something like that. If you've got those tiny little pops occurring, just tweak them using the out. That's pretty much it. Now we can take it a little bit further by using the envelopes up here. And if we go into, uh, say, pitch, for example, and add a little bit of amplitude into pitch, we can add some weird kind of flexing sounds into it as well. As well. There you go, so using that 909 kick, we can build it into a baseline really, really quickly. So that's just a quick FL tip for today.